welcome to Berlin in 1938. This film courtesy of the Berlin Historical Society and with credits due to the Berlin Hospital Auxiliary. Berlin, Wisconsin, 1938. Amateur Service Productions presents Berlin 1938. A salute to you back in a simpler time. Ah, yes, back in 1938, the speed limit, 20 miles an hour. could see Berlin had a fine city crew and they also had a fine fire department. They were called out. This may have been a dry run, but Berlin had an efficient department headed by a fine fire chief, aided by excellent volunteers. Yes, it may have been a dry run, but Berlin was always prepared. fire department at Johnson Fortnum's in Berlin. Thank you. 
The summer of 1938 must have been a good year for growing flowers, judging by this beautiful backyard flower garden. Yes, those warm days of summer 1938. A lot of hard work went into making such a beautiful scene. We see the good sisters of St. Stanislaus Church in Berlin at the convent. some of the fine senior citizens of Berlin back in that era, and they all looked in excellent shape. Hard work kept them young. A warm day, and don't you wish that you could hear what they were saying about now? She looked friendly. Anybody out there able to read lips? Well, this will bring back many memories to you people. The Berlin High School Upper Campus. Here, of course, another hard-working individual working on the stadium wall, built with the Berlin Quarry Stone. One wonders if these fellows ever took a break. see what the Berlin football team looked like in those days. Maybe no face guards, but a lot of spirit. From the looks of their scrimmage, they must have had a perfect season. And here we see the chief of police.
as you can tell, Berlin citizens got along famously then in 1938. And what better way to cool off on a warm day than jumping in the good old swimming pool out at the conservation grounds. Contented cows came carnation milk. And here, as you see, the carnation milk building. Bring back memories? One of the carnation milk trucks pulling into the plant. From carnation milk, we see the Wadham service station. And they tell us that this was the boxing match of the decade when these two fellows got together. We don't remember who the winner was, however. Ah, uh, bless these campfire girls. They looked like they were having quite a bit of fun. When there was a Ford in the future, this is where they found the Fords at the old Ford garage. Of course, many of you will remember the old Park Hotel in the background. the Berlin Laundry and Dry Cleaners. Berlin Laundry and Dry Cleaners boasted a fleet of three delivery trucks with a very able crew to go out and service the people of Berlin and area.
familiar sight indeed is the Berlin Post Office. The only change being the 1930-era cars, but the mail had to get through in those days, and these were the people that saw to it that the mails did get through, both in the city and out in the country. Remember when you'd get one big nickel or one bigger 10 cent piece? This is where you took it to spend that hard earned nickel or dime to buy the thing that you've been waiting for all week. As you look at these films, you wonder if it ever was cloudy in 1938. The sun always seemed to be out. Obviously by now you've noticed that the prices were different in those days. Many years this name was familiar in the city of Berlin, as were many, I'm sure, that you recognized throughout the film thus far. Names from the past, some of which are with us today. As our cameras came by, apparently it was lunchtime or the workers were through for the day.
Here we see the Sam Roebuck Furniture Store, along with the Berlin State Bank. Now, of course, the Farmers and Merchants Bank. see some of Berlin's finest, the population at its happiest best. They liked drawings in those days too, and here we see a big crowd gathered, all hoping that their name would be the name called off for the huge, gigantic prize. See the look of joy on some of the people's faces? Others look like they just might have missed by one number. Round and round she goes, and where she stops, nobody knows. I think we found a winner. You know, looking at this, it's enough to make you really hungry. And I'll tell you, business was pretty good at this store. Judging from the crowds of people coming out, more coming out, <laughs> and still more coming out. <laughs> Yes, dear, your, your hair looks fine. As you can see, Berlin women had their mind on beauty in the 1930s as we visit the Berlin Beauty Box. Oh, gorgeous, beautiful. They really took care of themselves in those days as they do today. Magnificent! we went to the golf course and we stopped in apparently on ladies day swish we don't know how it was going for the gals but apparently they were all having a good time watch that swing Wham! A hole in one. And from the golf course we visit the Boy Scouts Troop 24. Always on the ready, ready to help out their fellow man. trip downtown in Berlin on Saturday morning, no doubt would take you past the hardware store. Judging from the looks of the people walking by the hardware store, they were in the market for doing plenty of shopping. And look at that brand new appliance. Apparently, the customer is very, very pleased.
your first car, this 1938 Chevrolet. Everybody loved cars in those days as they do today. Everybody, including a furry little friend that's going to be running past in just a moment. Yes, you're on candid camera, dear. Well, years ago, they cleaned up, they picked up, they fixed up, and they stopped off here to get their supplies. Then they sent out for reinforcements for help, and these expert workmen came out and service their customers. And like today, in those days, in the 30s, all types of businesses made up the Berlin downtown street, as we see in this jewelry store. as it is today, service with a smile was the byword then, as you can tell. One thing we'd like to know, and maybe somebody out there can tell us, how is the 1938 corn crop? Here's a fellow that was checking the stocks, seeing how it turned out. As we have in the past, we make another visit to another leading grocery store of the day. And again, don't those prices simply amaze you? And isn't it nice to think that in those days you could walk past the grocery store and really check out the merchandise on the sidewalk? working individuals. It looks as though they could have possibly used more help, however. And with that, they rested. television and when radio was only really getting started, people read their daily newspapers and the Berlin Journal was one of them featuring all the news that people would want to read. One of the 
popular songs of the day as we take a look at another one of many fine residences in the city of Berlin and again going downtown to another popular store right on Main Street selling the finest appliances that the 30s could find. Blame your kiss as sweet as a kiss can be and blame all your charms that melt in my heart. Back in those days, these fine women made up the O'Connor Shire Women's Auxiliary. Maybe you remember somebody from that era in these pictures. women were very much a part of their community, as was this name, Berlin Chapman. working in time with the music. Have you noticed how people seemed so happy in those days? familiar name. People recognize them as they do today. did they work well, but then there's that smile, too. the end of part one and we invite you to stay tuned for part two more memories from the 1930s in Berlin to continue our trip into yesteryear and enjoy part two of Berlin in 1938, with the courtesy of the Berlin Historical Society with credits to the Berlin Hospital Auxiliary. As this 
portion opens up once again. We look at the Stokely Van Camp portion where <laughs> they're working hard as usual. Agriculture has always been a big part of this area. Here we see the corn harvest. What kind of a year was it? Some of you will remember. Not only did they walk forward, but they walked backward in those days and had plenty of fun doing it. Here we see the familiar name of the Vietsky Funeral Home, but somewhat of a different appearance back in the late 30s. speed mill, as you see here. Some of them were shy, and others smiled, and others just sort of blushed. the cameraman had in mind. Street in Berlin had quite a look in Many of these names are bringing back memories and are enjoyable for you who are viewing this for the first time. Must have been some joke. Lunchtime. 
or did people want more in those days? Ah, yes, the morning after, the night before. Yes, another fine women's group. The cream of Berlin society, all devoted and dedicated to civic work and making the community generally a better place to live. And did you notice how pretty they all looked, all dressed up so nicely? our trip back to the five and dime and see what we can buy for the big price of five cents or possibly ten. cream and didn't that sound like a terrific idea oh to be a kid again of course the fun just wasn't in the eating how much could you get smeared all over your face some of them even managed to get some in their mouth Everybody had to have some relaxation, and here we see Men's Day at Mass Guten. Swish! He looks like he's gonna get a hole in one. Maybe next time. A two and a three. Well, if not 
this week, maybe next. Check it all. All the way to Ripon. see another respected name of the past. of gasoline was per gallon? Maybe you do. Don't you wish it was true now? Not only was the service friendly, but it was pretty fast in those days, too. He just learned that he needed some oil. has always had a rich religious heritage. And certainly back in the 1930s, this was very evident as we take a tour of some of the Berlin churches of that day and age. Our first stop is at St. Stanislaus Church in Berlin. at St. John's Lutheran Church. Bye. 
Agnes is no longer a church. It was a scene of many worships, the church being on South Adams Avenue. The Union Federated Church is seen here in our continuing tour of the Houses of Worship in Berlin in 1938. And of course, that year, this church was only one year old, former Grace Lutheran Church. As you see, we stop at St. Joseph's Church. church on Park Avenue, seen now of the telephone company parking lot. And as we said, Berlin worshipped every week, as you can tell in these scenes. church will be remembered by many people viewing the film now. see St. Michael's Catholic Church.
As we all know, Berlin is known as the fur and leather city, and here we see one of the reasons as we will take a look in just a moment at some of the fur cutters making coats to be worn and enjoyed by hundreds. As you can see, much work goes into the making of a fur coat. sign of elegance. What could be so happy and gay as a day in May, or June, or July, or August? Then they have fun at the East Side Park, children at play. stood on their heads for the camera. The winner is... Try it again. downtown at the First National Bank building. Well, the sign tells it all. And who could forget this pet show that took place? <laughs> Everybody had fun. I don't know though if the children had more fun or the pets. And as you can obviously see, there were all kinds of varieties for people to enjoy.
wasn't mass confusion. No, it was mass fun. Everybody seemed to be having a great time. Charlie, we have to grab the prize. He's not so sure that he wants to come. As you can tell, there were all kinds of varieties, as we may have mentioned. And what fun at East Side Park. She looks happy, doesn't she? I want to get out of here. did get together in those days for big community fun get-togethers.
some of the modern equipment of the 1930s, which gave their patients the best care of the day. days for people to enjoy. Since 1919, the Vietsky Funeral Home, founded by John R. Vietsky, has been serving your family. And with this presentation, Harold Vietsky and John Skipchak of the Vietsky Funeral Home have been happy to be of service in sponsoring this film. For those seeing it for the first time, welcome to a little bit of history. And for those who remember these scenes as happening only yesterday, Enjoy these fond memories, and to everyone, happy birthday, Berlin!